Good morning, it's time for Toddler Tales again. This week we're going to be talking about all things art. Art is a really important subject for us to do even at the preschool age. It's really good for language development and creativity and problem solving. So I hope that you'll be doing some art projects at home with your little ones. And there's some really great activities in the links down below that you can check out to help along the way. Um, also don't forget we have library to go back, so be sure to come by and pick those up as well. Let's go ahead and get on into our story. Pete the Cat, Crayons Rock. This is written by Kimberly and James Dean. There's Pete the Cat. Pete loves his big box of groovy crayons. He loves to draw things like cars and trucks, flowers and trees, and most of all, the big blue sea. See him coloring the sea? From rock and red to cool cat blue with a box of crayons, there's nothing Pete can't do. One day, Pete decided to draw something new. What do you think he's going to draw? His friends! See, he's thinking about his friends. Using lots of colors is so much fun, Pete wanted to use every one. He scribbled and drew a great big smile. His drawings were groovy and rockin' with style. See, he's drawing one of his friends. Crayons rock! Pete was proud of the pictures he drew. He hoped his friends would dig them too. Pete showed Grumpy Toad first. Grumpy Toad said, this doesn't look right. Those colors are way too bright. He doesn't look very happy or impressed, does he? But Pete thought, hey, no sweat, that's all right. The next one will be dynamite. Who's the next one going to be for? It says for Gus from Pete. This must be Gus. Pete showed Gus his picture too. Gus asked, well, who is this supposed to be? It really doesn't look like me. Pete thought, hey, no sweat, that's all right. The next one will be just right. Now he's thinking about Callie for Callie from Pete. Pete finally showed Callie her picture. Callie said, well, this one is fine, but it feels like something's missing from mine. Pete said, what a mess. Bummer, I guess my drawings aren't the best. Pete started to frown. He put his crayons down. Oh, his friends don't like their pictures. In art class, the teacher asked, Pete, what are you going to make? I don't know. I'm afraid of making a mistake. Pete looked around. Gus drew the coolest superheroes. Callie's flowers were awesome out of sight. Grumpy's motorcycle was just right. Pete's heart sank. His paper was blank. The gang looked at Pete and said, no sweat, it's all right. It doesn't have to be just right. Your art is cool because it's you. Your art is so unique. Grab your groovy box of crayons. Show us your technique. The teacher agreed art should be fun. Art is for everyone. 
From rockin' red to cool cat blue with a box of crayons, there's nothing you can't do. Pete smiled. There are no rules, it's no big deal. Art is about how it makes you feel. Pete loved his cool art. That's the one thing Pete knew. Suddenly, Pete knew exactly what to do. He tried again. Instead of drawing them one by one, Pete drew the whole gang just having fun. Wow! Way to go, Pete! That's a rockin' masterpiece! Grumpy Toad, Gus, and Callie agreed. Pete's picture was off the chart. See? That's the groovy thing about art. Wow, that's really a good drawing. I don't think I can draw as well as Pete. He's a good artist. The best art comes from the heart. Crayons rock. See all their cool pictures? The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this morning's story and I hope you'll do some groovy art of your own. See you next time. Bye.